eruption in four years felt in Iceland's near capital. The Sundakur volcano has erupted near Iceland's capital, Reykjavik, the 12th volcanic eruption in the North Atlantic island nation since 2021, the Icelandic Meteorological Office said. The agency said in a statement Wednesday morning that the eruption fissure in southwest Iceland was 700 to 1,000 meters, 765 to 1,095 yards, long. The lava flowed mostly to the southeast and did not approach any infrastructure, it added. Based on GPS measurements and deformation signals, this is most likely a relatively small eruption. Live images showed lava flowing and smoke billowing into the sky. People were evacuated from the Blue Lagoon, a luxury geothermal spa resort, and the nearby fishing town of Grindavik, according to public broadcaster RUV. Instead of flowing from a central crater, lava from fissure eruptions like Wednesdays emerges from long cracks in the Earth's crust. Iceland, often referred to as the land of ice and fire, has now recorded a dozen volcanic eruptions since the geological system on the Reykjans Peninsula became active again four years ago. The Reykjans eruption has so far not posed a threat to the nearby city of Reykjavik or caused any disruption to air traffic. Grindavik was home to nearly 4 before an evacuation order was issued in 2023. Now the area is largely empty due to the threat of lava flows and related earthquakes. In early April, a volcanic eruption breached a protective barrier near Grindavik, prompting emergency services to evacuate residents and those staying at the Blue Lagoon Spa. The crater lies between Grindavik, a fishing village 40 kilometers southwest of Reykjavik, and the Blue Lagoon, a geothermal hot spring just north of the village that is popular with international tourists. Icelandic authorities evacuated Grindavik and the Blue Lagoon ahead of Wednesday's eruption. Egert Solberg Johnson, Grindavik's Director of Recreation and Culture, said via email that he hoped the town's tourism operators would be able to reopen by Wednesday afternoon. It was not immediately clear whether the Blue Lagoon had closed, as it followed an eruption in the area in April. The company operating the spa did not respond to inquiries. The meteorological agency stated that the eruption fissure was about half a mile long and that lava flowed mostly southeastward, away from any infrastructure. No direct damage or injuries were reported. gas clouds from the volcano into areas near the country's main international airport, according to the meteorological agency. As of 6.30 a.m. local time, the eruption had not affected airport serving Reykjavik, located about 20 miles northwest of Grindavik. Volcanic eruptions occur every three to four years on average in Iceland, but in the past four years, 12 eruptions have been recorded in the Svartsengi volcanic system, which includes the Sunnikor crater. Grindavik, home to nearly 4,000 people before an evacuation order in 2023, has remained largely quiet since then, fearing the periodic threat of lava flows and associated earthquakes. The Reykjans eruption has not yet posed a threat to Reykjavik or thrown significant amounts of ash into the stratosphere, so air traffic has not been disrupted. Experts say another eruption in the area could occur for decades or even centuries. Fissure eruptions, as they are called, are characterized by lava flows emerging from long fissures rather than from a central crater.